going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 52 of our Little Career Mode, and today we have three games. We have Lenz and Nunz in the league, and then we have Stad Rem in the Coupe Nationale, a tournament we're trying to win back-to-back. -back. And we're also trying to go ahead and win the league in the Champions League as well. We're obviously very much in both of those, being in the Champions League. Um, round of 16, we drew Barcelona, and then in the league, as you can see, we're at one point ahead of Paris with 15 games to go. So we need to keep on winning. We need to keep on putting the pressure on a very good team behind us. And as you can see, unfortunately, we have some very, very tired players sitting around. So we're going to have to make some changes up front. We're going to go ahead and put Holzek. And then last episode, obviously, if you were not here, we brought in a couple of uh, new players. Eden Hazard, uh, Kim Pembe. They are in on the squad. Or they are now in the squad as Botman's going to come in. I want to bring, kind of want to bring Tao onto the bench. Uh, Samari is not going to be able to play today. We're going to get Kakare there. I want to bring Tao. And then Shellic could sit. Baku can play. Ikone. What does it do with Ikone? We're gonna. We're just going to start. Um, Kubo. Simple as that. Uh, we could, if Bamba could play on the other side, I think we'll play Bamba actually at left, or at, on the right, and we'll play Hazard on the left. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll give Hazard some starts. We made, Hazard asked and was very assertive that he needed to be a crucial player, so we're going to need to, you know, force a couple starts in here and there. We can do that right here um, with Ikone not being completely 100% fit, but let's jump into this. Bit of a change lineup, but still need the result. Let's go. Sanchez does manage to step in front there. Plays a good ball to Almada. And can we get that through to Kakare, who's made an excellent run. He cuts back onto their right foot. That's a good save early. Kakare did well. Just kind of stopped with it. Lost the defenders. Kempembe gets his header on, and it goes over the bar. Clean sheet on Kempembe's first start with Kanate. That is just what we wanted to see as well. But a decent start here. Sanchez. So now wide to Bamba. That's a good ball to Holzik. And Holzik, can he slide that through? Not quite, but he's going to come away with it here. Back to Sanchez. And Sanchez, he can slide that through to Almada. It's 1-0. Played on side by the defender, number 15 there. It's the one who's all the way back. Played him on side. That pass came late. It could have come earlier, and I was afraid of that getting that pass in there. I didn't think he'd get there, but it does here. A bit later on, but Almada scores the goal that gives us an early one the lead. Gets played out here. And I just took a little bit to get that pass there, but goalkeeper diving the other way. Almada sends it back to the right side, and it's 1-0 on 9 minutes. Good play. Oh, that's a good ball in there. Got to step up. Botman's just let him. And I kept trying to switch on. And it wouldn't let me. You gotta be kidding. Lens hit back immediately. That's ridiculous. I tried so hard to switch on. It just was not happening. And then Butman kind of let him play around with it. That is disappointing. Really disappointing. Comes in front of him here. And he... Yeah, he just doesn't really put a ton of effort in, does he, Butman? That is a shame. I really tried to switch on there. I don't know what it looks like on the camera. Or it looks like when I'm re-watching this during the edit, but I imagine that marker was flailing all over the place. Everywhere except where it needed to go. Brilliant. 1-1. One, one. Decent defending in the end by Kempembe. And Holzek looked like he was going to make the run, and he does this time. And can he drag it forward? He just gets away here, and it's going to be Holzek. Can he give us the lead? He can. Lovely finish into the bottom corner. As we retake the lead here as we approach half hour 2-1. Nicely done. And we grab ourselves the lead once again. It's a nice run. I thought for a moment there with the slow ball up that it was just going to... Just not going to work out. In the end it does. And then it's a nice enough finish. Into the bottom corner. Lovely stuff and we retake the lead 2-1. Sanchez getting back. Kakare here plays it forward nicely. And Holzek is in. And if he's going to get to that, he is. And can he grab his second of the game? He can too. Two for him. Three for us. 3-1. And once again, 
played on side by the furthest man back. That's a couple times that's happened now. That's an excellent pass between the two center backs there, or the, between the two players back. It's number 15 again chasing. Though this time, it's not really his fault. It's the fullback on the right who's played everybody on side. Holzik, though, doesn't make a mistake for the second time. And on 40 minutes, it's 3-1, and we double up our lead. Here's Hazard on it now. It's a nice touch. Back to Hazard. Hazard can slide it in. It's Holzik. Hat trick. Nicely done. As they're showing Coletta Carr's transfer on the top end. Hat trick for Holzik up front. It's a good ball back in from Hazard. Who gets the assist. But this is a, another simple finish for Holzik. Who's had three goals obviously with his hat trick. And they've been you know, one on one finishes. Which is obviously where you want to be as a striker. 53 minutes gone. Hat trick hero. And we're 4-1 up. But if Sanchez could win it here, does get a touch, but that's not enough to win it. And he grabs it there, and it's going to be a takeaway high up the pitch. I'm not sure what they're doing, but it's Sanchez here. Oh, he's hit the post. It's come back to Bamba, and that's a, a very difficult strike. Big opportunity. Unfortunately, he's just hit the post. Now he can slide it forward to Kakare, and that's going to go out wide to Hazard. Hazard's on it, and Hazard clips that in. Brilliant. Holzek takes it. It's another a brilliant game for Holzek, who's frankly had four finishes one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. They haven't been... I mean, you take one-on-one -on -one whenever you get it. It's not like... I, I don't want to say it's not been difficult for him, but this is about as easy as a hat trick will really get. That's a good finish. A great touch. Could have hit it first time. Slowed it down. And grabs his fourth of the day. 76 minutes gone and is 4-1. Oh, nice tackle high up the pitch here. And Tao is running with it. And Tao can slip it to Holzek, who once again is one-on-one. -on -one. And, oh, that time he didn't finish. That might be the only time of the game where he's had a shot. That's not found the back of the net. He's been so great in front of goal. Just couldn't finish that one. Kubo's going to come across this here. Botman. One more. Willick. Kakare. We're trying to work another angle as that comes out to Hazard. And Hazard's on side. And Hazard hits the post as well. Oh, twice we've hit the post today. Hazard still, unfortunately, doesn't have his first goal for the club. And that looks like it might have to wait. Though we might have something here. No, the whistle blows. 5-1. Holzek with four. Hit the post twice. Could have been seven just on that, but we were excellent today. Lens had the one shot, went into the back of the net. That's the kind of thing that happens. It is what it is. An excellent result, though. I'm not sure what PSG have done, because PSG are not on there. We can check in a moment, but we have Stad de Rem next in the cup. Um, Kanata has something to say. What does he have to say? Anything? Reading some, I just want to give me another chance. You're gonna, you're not going anywhere, Kanate. What's the matter with you? No chance. Let's take a look at the league though before we jump into this Stad Day Rem game in the Coupe Nassia now. I believe it's the round of 16. It is. Winner goes to the quarterfinal, and PSG did win their game, 2-1 over Nantes, who took points from them last time, and they have Metz and Bordeaux are their next two. So you feel on our end, we got to be winning those to keep ourselves ahead but one game at a time and we have a game here Stade de Rem Lille I'm gonna need to make a change or two we're gonna get Durson in there Gomez can come onto the bench um De Ketelier can come onto the bench as well I feel front three can remain on change do I want to go with Gomez yeah we'll go with Gomez Sanchez yeah we'll go with him for the moment Anyone else I want to bring along? Barbosa, just to have that defensive cover, just in case. Don't have any. We'll put him in for Almada. We have Gies on the bench anyway. So let's jump into this. Lille Rem. Let's go. Ooh, he's managed to win that there. Comes out wide now. And it's Donis. It's a nice step inside. They continue to step inside here. Nice block. Needed to be, but it's... Come all the way back. That's a great turn. This one, though. Ugh. 
the turn is great, but there's a couple of mistakes there on our end. You cannot let him get to the bind line like we did. Can't be doing that. 1-0. And in this round of 16 tie, we're going to have to come from behind. It's played across. Big block there on pass inside. And he's able to turn with it, and there is no resistance. Too easy for him on the turn. Inside the box, really, at the penalty spot there. And it's 1-0 to Rem inside five minutes. Not good. Nicely done. Here's Gomez. He's going to hold on to this here. Plays it forward nicely. One more out. Shellick. And Shella can play that in, and that's an excellent ball to Sanchez. Sanchez cuts back, slides it across. Bodu, and he's come all the way across to save that because, ah, uh, that is super annoying. Samari, more back in there. Gomez, good turn, and he can find that ball to Bodu. 1-1. One, one. Remarkably simple. We've been moving the ball around okay, and then we get to the final third, and the passes aren't quite hitting. But finally, we get some simple passes going, and that's what happens. 1-1, we level it here in the quarterfinal. Comes out here, and Gomez with a nice turn, and just slides it in there. Just got to tap it into that space, and Bodu will do the rest. It's a nice finish from the striker, and we level it on 40 minutes. 1-1. Let it down nicely, Sanchez. Nice turn there. Gets it to Samare. That gets played out to Bodu. Bodu can slide it out wide to Bamba, who's left alone, and it's Bamba! He's finished it. He's been left all alone out there on the left. You cannot do that. He's too, too good, and he shows why right there. That's an excellent finish, but look at the space. The run inside from Anthony Robinson has taken him, the fullback, completely away. And he's all alone out here. Tried to get back in time. It doesn't happen. And the goalkeeper cannot get a touch onto it. It's an excellent finish. And we're 2-1 up here in the round of 16 tie. And at the moment, moving into the quarterfinal. It's a long way to go, though, obviously. But it's a good good spot to be in. One more. Nicely done. Here's Robinson. That gets played. Guys, we have got to pass some of these into space. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, I've tripped my own player there. Seferovic in on goal. It's 2-2. I went press B to tackle, and we tackled the other center back. And Seferovic evens the score at two. Oh, Jesus. This shirt is itchy as hell. It's driving me nuts. But look, I tackle Kanate. Dursen and Kanate completely out of the play. Seferovic runs right down the middle, unmarked. Oh, 71 minutes gone. It's 2-2, and that is, that is a ridiculous goal to concede. Step in there. Nicely done by Willick. It gets played out. One more. Back into Willick. Does well. And oh, it's deflected. And out for a goal kick. It was our own guy who's deflected that. And with a minute and a half to go, I believe this goes to extra time. We're about to find out. Didn't really want any extra time, obviously. But if we don't also want to lose. As that comes forward and Bodu's made an excellent run. And there might not be extra time. There won't be. Bodu scores with a minute to go. That is a huge goal, and that should send us into the next round. Wow, right at the death. Comes out here to Samari, plays the ball in. I thought for a moment it might be too late. He's played on by the fullback. Comes to him, and he just turns and hits this first time. Goes over the goalkeeper's arms. Ugh, that is annoying. That is annoying. 3-2. Or not annoying, Jesus. Uh, that is amazing. God, why am I saying annoying? I'm not so sure, but that should be the whistle. And there it is. 3-2. Final minute. We win it. That is incredible. We didn't really play too, too well there, but not too bad. Six shots. Three of them went in. They had three shots. Two of them went in. I don't see... PSG on there. I haven't seen PSG on any of these, though. They may be playing after us. No, they're out. When did they go out? Oh, I can't really check, but we're in the round of 32, and I don't see them there. Very odd. Or we're in the round of 16, I don't see them there. So they're out. So this, once again, is a tournament we can win. 
Not too bad, but here we are back in the lead. 14 games left now. We're pretty much counting down as this goes along, but we got to keep winning, especially with PSG having a, reg a relatively winnable schedule over the next, you know, two or three weeks. Kubo wants to play. I don't start him enough, so he's got the right, really, to be a little bit upset, but... There should be some tired legs here, so he may get a chance. Not as tired as I would have thought. I'm going to start Kakare. And I think we'll start Kubo. Why not? Give him a go. We're going to swap out the fullbacks as well. Baku. We're going to give Barbosa another run out here on the left. So let's jump into this. Nonce Leal. Let's go. And now we can have a bit of a run forward. Nice ball out there. He did really well, and it's Barbosa, the youngster. And he clips that back post. That's a great pass, and on the header. Mm, just wide. He ought to be scoring, at least getting that on target. Nice ball here. Oh, that's a good ball inside. There's space. Turn back nicely. That's a huge stretch by Kanate. There's one more on here, and here's Bodu in space. And Bodu, lovely step inside here. And I've actually overstepped that, but Bodu keeps going and then he drags it wide. I overstepped it in the middle. Could have just had a shot. Overdone it. Back inside. Here's Almada. One more. Bodu. Nice touch from Bodu. And the pace is real. The pace is real. He just got away from that guy. Quick burst of acceleration. And then he cut back inside. And finished it off past the goalkeeper. But that's excellent. Let's look at this again. He's on it here. Toward the top of the box. And then that touch there. Just opens it up. Cuts back inside. And it's a lovely little finish. That's a good goal. It gives us a lead. And it's taken longer than usual against Nantes. Who we have a real habit of beating really heavily. But on a half hour. 35 minutes or so. We take the lead, 1-0. Oh, nicely done. It's a good play here. There's Torre. Gets into the box. Good save. Galini with a good save there. Space opened up for him. Sanchez tried to get across and cause a problem defensively. Did just enough, I suppose, though. Galini came up with an excellent save there. And Baku can't quite clear it. It's going to be a corner for Nantes, who have stepped up the pressure after conceding. And that comes into space. Galini does well to punch. It's not going to get all the way away. It's a nice turn back into space. Kempembe trying to mark here. Does well enough to push it back. And now they're going to go all the way back. And the current pressure has been thwarted. Nicely done. Sanchez, Bodu. Almada with an excellent run. Just fainted outside or inside and then went back outside. It's a good goal. It's 2-0. 65 minutes gone and we've taken control now. We have a real grip on this after... It's been a not a tough one defensively necessarily. But it's been hard to get going offensively. And look at that. He just stepped inside. And then the quick step outside. He lost the center back. Simple as that. And... A very good run. And then this is an excellent finish. Zero chance for the goalkeeper. As he puts that right into the bottom corner. Lovely stuff is 2-0. Nice tackle. Nice play here. And there's a bit of space for Almada. Plays it onto Kubo. And Kubo can drag this forward here. And Kubo, lovely ball out to Almada. 3-0 and now we're cruising. And the football's coming easy. Almada with his second in a couple of minutes. This is going to be his last action as well as he goes off. But nicely done by Kubo. Takes it here. Just waits for the right moment to play that ball. Just that stutter step. Really opened that space up. And then this just coming across him. Almada goes over the hand of the goalkeeper into the side netting. It's a good finish. It's a good goal. Almada finishes the day with two. And on 70 minutes, we're 3-0 up. Ball in's not ideal, but we've given it away twice there. Canate gets it to Gies, and Gies turns. That's a good ball forward. Can Bamba 
get out to this. He's going to. He steps inside brilliantly. And that's an excellent ball out to Kubo. What a goal that is. That's an incredible goal. The passing is pinpoint, long, direct. Kubo with an excellent finish as well. I mean, this is such a great goal. Look at this pass here from Bamba. That's an unbelievable pass. <laughs> an unbelievable pass. And the pass out to Bamba was incredible as well. I mean, that's just a ton of incredible passes. Pinpoint. The finishing excellent. I mean, that is goal of the episode, surely. That's an incredible goal. <laughs> Can't stop speaking about it. But it is 4-0. And that will be game over with 10 minutes to go. A minute and a half to go, and we are going to come away with another three points at the moment. We're playing really, really well and collecting points very nicely, very easily, essentially. That's what I meant to say, as Willick has his shot blocked. It came out poorly, but that's what I meant to say. We've been easily collecting points. Ever since the PSG loss, we've been perfect. And we've had one of those years where we're, you know, we're picking up points against everybody really except PSG which is okay because PSG tend to drop points other places and have dropped points other places especially since they have a loss since we last played and we haven't lost to anyone so we've made up that gap relatively quickly as you can see they have a game in hand we're about to see what that's like and they drew look at that they have drawn I believe this is goal difference I want to say that I don't know for sure, but if it's goal difference, we have a bit of a gap. If it's goal difference, we have a gap. 83 goals, or 83 is the goal difference. We've scored 120 goals through 25 games, which is outright ridiculous. But our goal difference is pretty big, and we've been defensively better, and that's what we were trying to do, you know, with Kanate signing, with the Kimpembe signing now. He's, they've had a pair of clean sheets. Um partnering each other now but they did draw who was it to Mets yeah 2-2 two, two. they play Bordeaux next but that is a big result for us it's a three-point gap and hopefully with goal difference if it's not with goal difference I don't remember what the first result was so we'll see but it is what it is so next episode as you can see we have the first leg at home against Barcelona in our round of 16 tie in the Champions League look at all that green at the top of February but that is a massive, massive game. And then we have Mets and Bordeaux, the two teams that PSG are playing. Drew with Mets, so we can't take them lightly, though I do want to rotate. And then, you know, it's going to continue to go. And then the back end of this season, if we beat Barcelona, is going to get very packed very, very quickly. So thankfully, we've played Lyon and PSG already, guys. But that'll happen next episode. But for now, guys, that is it. I hope you, of course, have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.